A new Star Wars trailer, a new music video from Drake, and a new government. Safe to say it's an exciting morning to wake up in Canada, and the stars agree. Justin Trudeau will be Canada's next Prime Minister after leading the Liberal Party to a majority government win. And celebrities are weighing in on the historic election. Canadian rockers Tegan and Sarah tweeted, What an exciting night. The people have spoken. Ryan Reynolds stayed typically sarcastic, tweeting, My hopes that Canada might one day become a fully weaponized, drunk on oil, are officially over. A pumped up Jan Arden wrote, the election is so exciting for all Canadians. I'm freaking out. Drake sounded off on the election results too, Instagramming this pic with the caption, cheers for a great day. Liberals won, Jays won. Of course, it was a big day for Drizzy too. He dropped the music video for Hotline Bling. I know we now. And set the internet on fire with those dance moves. Also splitting cheers between the Jays and the election results, the bare naked ladies, they tweeted an amazing day. Jays win, Harper loses, here's to the future. And we're guessing Canuck actor Donald Sutherland is happy with last night's results based on this. Change your government. Well, I, I can't vote, so I got this is the only way I can vote. Even non-Canadian celebs are chiming in on an election that caught the world's attention. Filmmaker Michael Moore tweeted, hashtag the North awakens. Congratulations, Canada. While Canada voted for change, A-listers called for change south of the border at the Women in Hollywood Awards in L.A. The glam event was used as a platform to talk equal pay in Hollywood. The more energy we give each other, the more encouragement, the more we're going to continue evolving and uh, speaking up. The gender wage gap is a topic that's been taking center stage in recent weeks, with everyone from Jennifer Lawrence to Gwyneth Paltrow to Salma Hayek sounding off on the issue. Now, you can add these ladies to that list. I think this is a great opportunity for the women to actually step up. Well, we raise minimum wage. Most minimum wage workers are women, so that'll help. Over on this red carpet in New York City, the chatter was all about how TV's transparent is changing the world. Our Terry Hart got the scoop from the stars. The subject matter is very important. Lives are at stake. And this is about uh, gender equality and family. And it's a modern comedy. If you talk to high school kids or college kids, this is what's going on. You can catch season one of the groundbreaking series exclusively on Show Me. And stay tuned for season two starting in December. Lamar Odom has been transferred from Sunrise Hospital in Las Vegas to the ICU at LA's Cedars Sinai Hospital, with estranged wife Khloe Kardashian still at his side. This photo, courtesy of TMZ Sports, shows the medical helicopter used to airlift the former NBA star. Odom woke up from a four day coma on Friday after he was found unconscious at a Nevada brothel last week. Reports say he is now breathing on his own, but still has a long road to recovery ahead of him. There are stories about what happened. It's true. It's here, two minutes and 35 seconds of new Star Wars footage as the latest trailer for The Force Awakens was released last night. So now we just have to wait until December 18th to find out what's really happening in a galaxy far, far away. It's calling to you. Remember to get your entertainment news first right here in the morning and anytime on Twitter at Ent City.